is a beastly laptop. This is the GT75 Titan 85G. This has the new RTX 2080 graphics card in it. We've actually got Battlefield loaded up. This thing is a tank. This, this is one of the top competitors for, if you want just a massive laptop with tons of storage options, the best possible performance spec, this is one of the laptops that you should be considering as a top contender. First of all, this keyboard is amazing. The feel of this keyboard is just so good. It's hard to describe. It's one of the best feeling keyboards. It also looks cool as heck. Look at the lighting underneath the keys. They are really, really well lit and super colorful. Another reason is that this thing has one of the best displays. Very, very fast refresh rate and very high color gamut. And then of course it has a great sound system that's probably only getting better. Let's take a look at the ports on this 17 inch behemoth. On the left side, we're looking at a headphone jack, a mic port, I think a line in, line out right here three USB type A's on the back we have these twin fan exhaust they're just massive exhaust here uh, you got the power in the HDMI 2.0 out a USB C Thunderbolt 3 out a mini display port and the LAN port and then on the right side we have a full-size SD card reader that is a high-speed SD card reader along with two more USB type A's the touchpad is very very smooth the touchpad has these cool light up buttons right here not quite as cool as like the Alienware where the whole touchpad lights up with color now you can put up to 64 gigs of RAM in this bad boy and five M.2 slots along with a two and a half inch drive. So this thing has six hard drive slots. That's a frick ton. That's probably the most in any laptop currently out there. It's got the i9-8950HK and this thing is overclockable. You can put it up to like 4.5 gigahertz or 4.7 gigahertz. The heat sinks in this thing are massive and you've got a full RTX 2080 in here along with that i9-8950HK and so you can overclock both the graphics card and the CPU and really get the maximum possible performance. Uh, and speaking of power, this thing actually takes two AC adapters. So there is actually only one plug in the back where you have to combine them. This is the the dongle connector so it connects into one uh, and that's what's required to power this thing so it's doubly not transportable because of those dual AC adapters that's required to power this beast. I think the main weakness to this GT75 Titan is that it does not feature a full desktop i9-9900K. This thing could certainly cool a 9900K desktop processor if they put it in here. So I really hope MSI adds that as a potential option in the future, especially since the 9900K is socketable, which means that you can upgrade it. Speaking of upgradability, this is an MXM GPU, meaning that you will be able to upgrade this as long as Nvidia keeps the same form factor for the 3000 series of the next RTX cards or whatever they'll be called. So this one does have some upgradability, but because it is the i9-8950HK, it is a soldered CPU. This thing is massive. It is very, very thick. This is not a small laptop by any means. This is the kind of laptop you keep on your desk. You take it to LAN parties. You move it from work to home every now and then. So if you're looking for an MSI laptop with the i9 processor, especially one that you could potentially overclock and really push the thermal limits on, this is definitely a good laptop to consider, and especially if you're looking for an RTX 2080, like a full-blown, non-max-Q, maximum possible performance. But of course, you're sacrificing maximum portability. Like, you, you will not be able to haul this thing around all day. Like, I could not stand hauling this around CES. It'd be impossible. I think MSI has some work to do on this before it's perfect. Uh, definitely upgrading to the desktop CPU should be, I think, MSI's top priority for future deployment for the GT75. That's my hands-on with the GT75. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button, tap the like button, hit the notification bell. We'll see you guys in the next one. Brandon, out. Let me hold it up a little more. This thing's heavy, man. It's hard to keep this thing up during the whole interview. Oh my God, okay.